hello everyone this video i will explain some routing on uh, network on chip communication so for network on chip communication the basic routing is the xy routing so here we will see with the help of an example how this xy routing works so we are taking a <coughs> mesh topology so here if you can see we are having four rows and three columns now these red circles actually representing the router and this ip intellectual property the this, this is the place where our component will be placed so if we consider a on chip communication so it might be possible that this ip is a memory this ip is a dsp this ip is a processor so these things can be changed and this one is the router now how xy routing works uh, node first calculate whether the destination lies in the similar column or not if not it will send the packet in x direction and uh, 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 next node also do the same thing if uh, destination node lies in the same column then the packet will be sent in y direction so uh, as the name is specified xy routing every packet will be sent in x direction until unless destination will lie in the same column of the current node so here we are taking an example node so this node say this node wants to send a packet to I, a node 8 here so how xy routing works this node 0 will calculate this router 0 will calculate that 8 lies in my column or not so there is no 8 so if there is no 8 it will see uh, in which side 8 lies in uh, right side or in left side so actually how it calculate the position of this node they calculate uh, they find out the uh, rows and column number of this uh, router so and then they compare this uh, rows and column number with its own so uh, node 0 will find out that node 8 is not in the same column so packet has to go in x direction so this packet will be sent in x direction to node 1 so now this node 1 also calculate the same calculation whether node 8 lies in the same direction same column or not no it will calculate the column of destination and it will compare that column with its own so it will find out that this column is the uh, bigger than the this one so it must be in right side so it will forward packet to <coughs> its right neighbor now node 2 will calculate that node 8 in the same column now it will compare its uh, row number with 8 so it will find out the row number of 8 is higher than row number of 2 so it will send packet to uh, sorry uh, uh, it will send packet to extra uh, sorry y direction in south side same this node also do the same thing now it will find out uh, row number of 8 is higher than the y and it will forward it to it. So this is the way how XY routing work. Now there is a problem with XY routing. This routing is actually a static routing. So where this routing fail? Now let's assume this router is not working. This router is failed. So XY routing uh, <coughs> uh, uh, don't handle these kind of failures. It will uh, work in similar fashion as it is working previously it will uh, send in x direction then it will send in y direction now when node 2 will send it to y direction this router is not working so this packet will be lost and uh, there is no way of delivering this packet to destination d so destination d will not receive this packet because this router is not working and xy routing don't uh, handle this uh, router failure so this is the drawback of xy routing say uh, advantage that it's simplicity it's very simple it's very simple to implement but the problem if there is any failure it cannot handle so now we are having some variation of uh, xy routing people have developed another routing based on xy so one of them is xy x routing so how this uh, routing works is that this routing actually 
uh, use two routing. One is x y in which packet will be sent first in x direction, then in y direction. Another version y x routing in which packet will be sent first in y direction, then in x direction. Now every node whoever want to send a data packet, that node will send actually two packet. A uh, one packet will be original packet, second packet will be redundant packet and in original packet packet id will be mentioned 0 in redundant packet packet id will be mentioned uh, one field there will be a field to differentiate which one is original which one is redundant so redundant packet will be having number 1 and original packet will be having number 0 now uh, original packet will be sent according to xy routing but the redundant packet will be sent according to y x routing so how it will work so let's assume this node wants to send a data packet to node 8 so this node will send two packets so one packet will follow x y routing which is 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 5 5 to 8 and another packet will follow y x routing which is 0 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 7 7 to 8 and uh, this will go like this one now <coughs> node so these packet actually also have a parity uh, when this packet is divided into fleet so those fleet actually having one bit parity so when this node receive uh, original packet <coughs> so original packet uh, it will compare the parity of uh, that data with the stored parity and if it is a uh, proper packet uh, means there is no error in this packet it will receive this packet and uh, packet is delivered but in case if uh, there is some error parity is not uh, matched it means data has been corrupted in the packet then in that case node will wait for uh, redundant packet and whenever it receives redundant packet so at that time packet will be delivered so this routing actually handle uh, router failure to some extent but if uh, if we consider that router 5 and router 3 failed in that case xy xy x routing also doesn't work so brief of this routing every node send two copy of a packet one is original another one is redundant to differentiate between original and redundant original will be having zero redundant will be having one now every packet actually also having a parity information so at the destination side destination will check their parity with the stored parity now if the parity is matched means uh, original packet is uh, not corrupted it will receive that otherwise it will wait for redundant copy of the packet and next routing we are uh, discussing is why priority routing this priority, uh, this routing actually uh, developed to handle router failure. So, how it works? Let's assume that uh, router number four is failed, so, and uh, one router is working according to X Y routing, and it has to send packet to four uh, in south direction. So, what it will do? It won't send it to four. Whenever it will find that the packet I am sending in south direction if the next router is failed instead of <coughs> sending in south I will send it uh, in right neighbor to right neighbor similar if node 5 wants to send uh, a packet to say 0 so according to xy it has to be sent to 4 but for node 4 is failed so 5 will send it to south so this green direction is actually showing if a node wants to send a packet and the next node is failed router so instead of following xy routing rules they will send in so this node will send in up this node will send in right this node will send in south and this node will send in <coughs> left so here we will take an example so we are considering that 0 want to send a packet to 7 so 0 will according to xy 0 will send it to node 1 now according to xy destination also lies in the same column so node 1 has to send to 4 but node 1 will find out this node is failed so instead of sending to 
before it follow uh, uh, its own rule that send it to right so it will be sent to right now whenever a node uh, send a packet inst a, a and uh, that node is not following xy protocol so when this node receive this packet now this node will follow yx routing it will perform yx routing it will send data first in y direction so that's why the reason this name given y priority so whenever a packet received by another node that packet try to send into first y direction so it will send it to down down and then it will send it uh, send it to 7 so this y priority routing actually handle the router errors thank you very much stay tuned for next lecture